Oh my gosh. We got Hi. a friend with horns. Oh my god, it's a duck! <laughs> oh my god! Greg, don't let it eat that. <laughs> so we're in our Hiroshima place and there's a giant thunderstorm and we're scared. I'm not sure if we should go outside or not. <gasps> like you got it. Oh. oh! We were going on a hike today, so now we're like... I think it'll be fine. If not, it'll add to the intensity of like a Gatorade commercial. Slash maybe you'll never see this vlog. Bye. <laughs> oh. Time for more food. So we ordered a bunch of Japanese sweets, which we've already started chowing down on. But like green been, tea croissant. Yeah. Not we've been seeing all everyone around, eats these. but we don't I really know. Was, what it I is. thought it was a cantaloupe cut in half. <laughs> so I was like, oh, everyone's eating fruit. You don't see that much fruit, but it's a bun. So what? Let's, let's see what's in it. it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. In, gonna I'm gonna do an aggressive bite. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What? Oh my god. What is it? Is it gross? Is it cheese? Guys, you're gonna shit your pants. <laughs> it's cheese. It's cantaloupe flavored. You're lying. It's a cantaloupe flavored bun. <laughs> I swear this to God. What's in it? It's like orange. Thumbs up? You're gonna freak oh my god. Out. Oh god. Is it good? It's good. It's a cantaloupe. Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd you say cantaloupe? It is fully a cantaloupe. We're gonna go on a hike here, but the weather's been crazy, so we're not sure if it's gonna be rainy or sunny. Like, literally every five minutes, the weather has changed, so it'll be interesting. But it looks like we're going to Jurassic Park, so hopefully, there's no dinosaurs. Mm. So, we just got on the island, and there's tons of people, but there are also some little furry friends we're gonna show you. Okay, so let me introduce you to my dear old friend. <laughs> Hello, buddy. It's been a long time. I didn't know I'd, that I'd see you here on oh, Mia Jima. kind of giving you the cold shoulder, Greg. <laughs> well, we haven't talked in a while, and I haven't really, you know, ever since that one so night, I haven't really said much to him. <laughs> <laughs> Met him on Tinder, though. <laughs> Tindir. Tindir. Were you on Tindir? Oh, my God. What are you, are you on oh Tindir? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Okay, so that gate right there, oh, Tory gate. it's low tide right now, right? Yes. And what will happen, we're gonna go on our little hike, and in about six hours or so, when we come back, or four hours or whatever, it should be high tide, and then we'll see the water much, much higher on it. All those people will be underwater. Hopefully they'll go out of the way first. Okay, guys, where are we? We're gonna find them. Get the gun out. So, the hike's legit. Yeah. It's good Bloody. though. We needed it because we've eaten 17,000 pieces of udon. <laughs> it's so beautiful, but so steep. It's crazy. And look at Mitch, he blends in so well. He was smartly dressed today. At the top of a really high hill. <laughs> so sweaty. And look out, I don't know if you can see. Wow, that's the Pacific Ocean. It's so beautiful. The map for this was literally a cartoon and we were not expecting. We were like joking around making noises. We haven't spoken to each other in like 10 minutes because we're so out of breath, but we're almost there. We did it. <laughs> and look. Look at Mitch's back. Is it gonna be great? You tell me. Is it funny? Oh, girl. There's a bunch of little inlets that make up Hiroshima. It's like right there. So that's the main city. And then you take the subway to there Get off fair here, and then you climb up to here. Ding. Okay, so we finally made it down the mountain. It was crazy. And look, look, the aftershock. The tide has come in, so now it's filling up. It's not fully all the way, maybe another hour or so, so yeah, before I know. it comes all the way in, but it looks really nice. It was an amazing hike, and now we get a special view. And the sun's out, and like, we're all very docile, like the deer here. We're just kind of like, oh, <laughs> Okay, so this is Okonomiyaki, but from Hiroshima. So they make it differently than the way we made it in the last vlog. So there's more cabbage. You don't make it yourself. And there's noodles. Mm. Ooh, what do we got here, people? <laughs> so this stuff's from Hiroshima, which means that there's noodles in it. And they battle with Osaka as to who has the best. We didn't prepare it ourselves like we did when we were in Tokyo. They did it over there, as you saw, and so we're gonna try it. And apparently it's layered too. It looks amazing. Get the mayonnaise. Wait, look at this. You gotta dump mayonnaise on it. People put copious amounts of mayonnaise on it, like they eat half of it and then put more. Yeah, I don't know if I can. It's like, welcome to America, Japan. Mayo past the salt. <laughs> oh. 
mayo. Get it? <laughs> what do you think? Who wins? Osaka or Hiroshima? Hiroshima. What do you think? Yeah, like 100%. I agree. This is so good. We are so tired. That is crazy. Look at how pretty that is. We've literally walked up so many hills today. Oh my god. We deserve an Oscar. Okay, so we are in Hiroshima and we have now entered the Peace Memorial Park. So this is going to be really intense because it's a whole neighborhood in Hiroshima where the atom bomb, first atom bomb ever in human history was used. And so they've sort of like created a whole memorial around it based on a part of Hiroshima that was like bustling before the morning. Yeah, and that out. behind us, which we'll go look at, is like a remaining structure that was left after the bomb went off, obviously decimated, but that's a constant reminder here that they keep as a reminder of what the A-bomb did to this area and to the city. So we'll go take a look. So this is what this neighborhood looked like right after the morning of 8.15 on August 6, 1945 when the first atom bomb ever went off. So it just like destroyed everything. And then this building right here remains and it's right there. So there it is, that's the, rem the building that remained. And there's all this nice lush greenery around it but it looks so different then. It's really, really sad. So this is the Bell of Peace, and it also talks a lot about how in Hiroshima they're trying to eliminate the nuclear arms around the world, trying to make sure that all countries abolish them, which is pretty crazy. Because how many, how many nuclear arms like do certain countries have? A lot. We saw a list where it was like the U.S. has like seven thousand or eight thousand, and Russia has like nine thousand, and then then it goes down, but. France, I think, had like 300, but it's crazy to think there was like a list of like 15 countries that still have nuclear weapons, which is scary and crazy. It's like, and we it's, don't need that. And I guess like being here where they've actually experienced what they can do, they're mm -hmm. trying to figure out a way that like the world can live without them, which makes a lot of sense, I think. So this is the monument to Korean victims and survivors of the blast, and of the 200,000 people that died that day, 10% were Korean, so 20,000 Koreans actually died in the atomic bomb, which is really interesting. And so this is about, this is for them because not many people know that and they were kind of lost and not really remembered in the same way. This is so, showing the intense heat from the bomb that actually just melted glass. So you can only imagine the awful things it did to humans who were around it. It's just devastating. This shows the areas of Hiroshima that were damaged and so this part was where it was t they were totally collapsed and burned and then this part is where they were half collapsed but could not be fixed. So essentially this is all of Hiroshima so like every single thing in the city that you see now has been rebuilt after the bomb. Just wow. So we just got out of the museum which was it was powerful. Yeah. And a lot of gruesome imagery or not imagery just actual photographs and artifacts from buildings that have been obliterated and there's a lot of information it's a lot to take in. It was really powerful. Like it was really good to learn a lot about it. Um, and to feel those things and be connected in a different way because as North Americans, like, we're only connected as, like, oh, the, the atomic bomb, like, helps end the war, helped win the war, but to actually be here and see the devastation and see that, like, Japan's, like, the most peaceful nation on Earth right now, or so it seems as we're here, um, it's just pretty crazy to be, like, in the city where that happened and see the effects it's had. Where are we going? We're going to see a baseball game! Who's playing? The Hiroshima Carps! And they're gonna win and we're cheering for them. And who are they against? Uh, oh, Yokohama. 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 And we want Kuroda to throw the best pitch slash and hit the biggest Sabia. ball. Woo! It's gonna be really fun. Go Carps! Okay, do the cheer, do the cheer! All around the world, 
ice cream is the same. And it's a villain. So good. Yeah, cream. <laughs> yeah! One touch, now baby, I believe this is real. So take a chance and don't ever look back. So What are you doing? Climbing up another hill. <laughs> Why? We don't really know. There's supposed to be a park or something at the top. <laughs> so, oh look! Let's be down there. So we really just climbed a random hill and it was beautiful and just followed the small path and we ended up here. There's this huge statue overlooking Nagasaki over here. So we managed to get mosquito bites too on our Not random trail. I. Oh, I got two! Yeah, I have like 20. Yeah, Five. they like Mitch. <laughs> but here <laughs> is Nagasaki. When we were sitting in that shade, it was like, I just didn't want to be rude and start moving. And there's huge ships over there. What's the population of Nagasaki? Like 400,000. Wow, that's so small compared to how big it looks. What are you guys doing up here? Eating more food in Chinatown. What kind of food is it? It's a pork bun, but I don't know the right name for it. What's it called? It's really good though. I think I haven't had a bite yet. This looks like so much more meat than mine. Mine looks like fat. For four days Mom, after they dropped a bomb on Hiroshima, a bomb was dropped on Nagasaki, the city we're in right now. So this is what Nagasaki looked like from above two days before the atomic bomb. And then this is the bomb going off. And then this is what Nagasaki looked like a month after with everything gone. And Ground Zero is up there. The museum we're currently in is about right here and yeah so it's just again so there were two atomic bombs that were dropped on Japan one in Hiroshima and one in Nagasaki where we are right now the bomb was actually um, meant to go to a city called Kakura but there was so much cloud and smoke cover they couldn't actually get a clear target so it headed for Nagasaki and almost actually didn't drop the bomb because it was too cloudy as well but then the clouds broke and they managed to drop the bomb before the plane ran out of fuel and then cause the devastation. Uh, this is a staircase from a primary school and you can actually see little pieces of glass that have stuck into the wood. And this glass was blown during the blast and it actually just like flew and fused into the wood because it was so much heat and so much power. So here we see the history of how actually the science and politicians came together to create sort of this is the road map of how the bomb was actually eventually used. So it goes through many of the scientists who you know were very interested in nuclear energy and ways that uh, nuclear energy could be used for the good. People like Albert Einstein really opposed the use of it as a bomb, but it was uh, the President of the United States who actually decided to drop these two bombs. Uh, it was not President Roosevelt because he had died, it was actually Harvey Truman who came into power after Roosevelt died, who decided to eventually drop the two bombs. It really showed America's power at the time, and but after it happened and the devastation, Albert Einstein was unanimous and really wanted to ensure that these, there was, that these bombs were no longer used around the world and there was actually a lot of fear, you know, if they, they could create more powerful bombs than what were dropped on Hiroshima. And if they were used in war, then it could end the human race. So it must have been an awful, awfully scary time and it's just interesting how science and politics dissected to create such a horrible tragedy but also just such an important part of history. So it's raining, which seems fitting, because we're in a bit of a sad setting. This is where the this is the hypocenter of where the bomb went off in Nagasaki, and ultimately, over the course of about five months, killed like eighty thousand-ish people, which is crazy. So 
this is the area it would have exploded over because they, they dropped them and the bombs blew off in the air because to optimize or maximize the amount of damage, which is very sad, but um, it's pretty crazy to think that this is the center of where it happened. So we are on our way back to Tokyo to say goodbye to Japan, have some yummy food, the fly to Korea. little snacks, so we're going to Korea, it's our last day in Japan. Hey, but look at this, this is their fast food, it's like, Beautiful adorable, presented box. like beautiful, healthy little snacks and like art. <laughs> it is art. I like don't even want to eat that. It looks so good, but we're it's getting sad. Like it's hitting us now that we're know, spending like a man. eight hour journey to get back to Tokyo <laughs> just to go to the airport to go to Korea though, which is also exciting. It's like we're starting a new journey all together. Yeah. So also I just dropped my chopstick on the ground. Except I'm gonna eat this. It's the cleanest ground ever. Yeah. Okay, so we are now back in Tokyo. We arrived at 5.10 and our ticket said you would be there at 5.10. Literally, exact, every single stop was exactly the time. To the minute. Picked. Across almost the entire country, like from all the way in the west to Tokyo. Like, look it up. Open a map, look at Nagasaki, look at Tokyo. We, we went there. We transferred a train too. Like everything twice. was, we yeah. Twice. yeah. Three different trains were all on time. Like this country is This has beautiful. never happened in the history of a Canadian train. That guy was a, <laughs> That guy thought that the, that guy thought the camera was on him and he was like posing <laughs> behind it. Anyway. What's that? Thank you, yeah, thank you so thank much. You, <laughs> See, they're on time and so nice. <laughs> we're in Korea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we're excited to show you Korea and to experience Korea on our own as well. So yeah, we hope you like the end of our Japan trip. But now you get Korea. Yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you next Bye. week.